Today is the first, uh, the inaugural or the first annual uh, William Prusoff lecture. Professor Prusoff has been at Yale for over 50 years and is a giant in his field. He created the first antiviral medications, including medication for anti-HIV and anti-AIDS medication. So he's a giant in his field. He uh, was introduced to me by Alon Kanan, a friend and a, a professor also at Yale, and he's on our faculty advisory board. And Alon introduced me to Bill three years ago when I had this idea to create an institute to study anti-Semitism. And I came pretty much ill-prepared to meet Bill uh, at the cafeteria of the medical school. And he was gracious to help get ISGAP off the ground and subsequently the Yale Initiative for the Interdisciplinary Study of Anti-Semitism. So it's a great honor uh, to be able to give this to you as a small memento of our appreciation. And I just want to say one more thing. The, to those who know Bill and his accomplishments in his field, on an individual basis, I think all those accomplishments, what you've done for ISA and ISGAP and even in medicine, pale in comparison to your humility and kindness that everybody here, I think, knows. So it's really an honor to be connected to you. Unfortunately, my mother-in-law isn't here. <laughs> but uh, the thing which I, I'm very, very proud of is that I allowed your vision to become a reality. So, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for so, that. <laughs> and, and there's nobody, I think, more fitting than Professor Alan Dershowitz to be the first speaker at this inaugural William Prusoff uh, lecture. And this is a small memento, oh, so you'll you. remember this event. And we're really honored to I have will. you here at this event. Thank you. Thank you. So long overdue that we have an academic research institution dealing in an academic, serious way with the issue of anti-Semitism. You hear anti-Semitism tend to be polemical, and the idea of creating a, a, a research institute, a center, an academic center, to consider it as a serious subject is very important. To change the nature of the debate over what anti-Semitism is is very important. Be bigger, one foot may be weightier, one foot may have greater case of morality. And what I want to introduce into the discussions of incitement, into debates about anti-Semitism, into discussions of the Middle East is nuance, is balance, is calibration. It's very important to speak to young people, to make them aware of the history, to make them aware of the current issues. And uh, I'm a big supporter, and I'm glad to be here to be giving this lecture. Well, I can say it's really critical to me to get, to get involved. It's just that I... Uh, I'm against uh, anti-Semitism, and this is a series of lectures which hopefully will spread the, uh, the, the news about how the origins of it and perhaps what, what, can, what can, can be done. And, uh, this is my hope. Uh, I wanted to ask you what it is about yourself, about your upbringing, that brought you to the place of such independence of thought? That's a great question. I appreciate that. And I think it was going to yeshiva. I went to a very, very orthodox yeshiva, and I fought against those constraints. I think a lot of people, in many ways, are a product of what they fight against, what they struggle against. And I was given parameters for my thinking. I was taught logic. I was taught good Talmudic thinking. But I was also taught it within constraints. And I struggled against those constraints. And I fought against those constraints. I think a lot of people, in many ways, are a product of what they fight against, what they struggle against. And not after what I've seen going on in France, not what I've seen going on in Holland. Now more than ever, Israel must have a right of return. When six million Jews were killed, nobody cared about Jews. Nobody cared about Jews. Since the establishment of Israel, all people care about is Jews. <laughs> the obsessive focus on the imperfections of Israel has caused the death of six million additional people. It's an extraordinarily important institute. It's a subject matter that is not seriously discussed and is not on the academic agenda today except 
in this institute and except at Yale, and this is unique and remarkable, and it has to continue. This is a subject that must be uh, seriously pursued academically, and I think that uh, the current institute under its current leadership is doing a great job. This is a terrific beginning.